Welcome to the channel, my pack cracking family. Clever Magic Trevor here, and we are sitting fireside this morning. It's pretty early in the morning, and uh, I'm about to actually head to the gym, so I'll probably edit this after I uh, film it. And uh, I don't want to be too loud. Kids and uh, wife are sleeping, so. But uh, I did get some stuff hung. Uh, that's actually, you can't really see it, but that's my uh, grandfather's pennant ring from when he won the pennant. His baseball card, my mom with uh, taking a picture with uh, his Hall of Fame stuff, and then, uh, and then his Hall of Fame card over there, so uh, business card, and then that's him with a bunch of his Detroit Tigers uh, players and whatnot. And then, of course, Carolyn Harper's painting, which I've been thinking, I was like, well, what do I want her, what, I, what do I want to commission her to do in the future for more paintings? And I think what I'm going to do is hopefully uh, eventually get one of each land color and uh, maybe even put them in kind of the order that they typically do. You know, we'll see. So, uh, but that's, uh, that'd be pretty cool for, for me to get something like that. I like being surrounded by that stuff. So, <clears throat> and uh, I apologize. I often uh, sneeze in the morning and, uh, so that's kind of, I don't know, I wake up and start sneezing. So I got to get that out of my system. So that's what I've been doing. That's what I've been doing, you guys. So we got some winners. We got four videos to go through, uh, find out who the winners are, and uh, get them their cards. So that's going to be the goal this, this next week is get people their cards. And uh, we will go from there. So we'll, uh, we'll kind of talk after, uh, after we find out who the winners are. So let us go. All right, guys, so we had four videos. We are gonna start with this first one. Um, this was the battle between uh, Harry F and I, and uh, Harry uh, basically let me win that, that time. So he ended up with the uh, $5 pre-release and I ended up with a more expensive one. So our first winner is Jackie H. Congratulations. Got the dub and it wasn't bad at all, exactly. Exactly. Who else we got? Who else wants to win a card? Kevin Wheeler. All right, man. I don't know. Is this the first time you've won? Have I sent you a card? I don't know. If you guys uh, win a card and uh, you haven't won yet, you need to shoot me an email or a DM on Twitter and we'll get that out to you. Good stuff. Congratulations to the folks right now. Right now, much I'm looking for creator's choice. That's, uh, that's how we're doing the battles now. So we're doing kind of random. Uh, I did get a lot of emails from people saying that they really enjoyed their cards that I picked out for them. Uh, I got to be honest, I didn't really pick them out. They're kind of random. So, uh, Will Endicott, you're the third winner in this one. Congrats to the winner. I love the battles. Hey, me too, buddy. So, I appreciate that. So, this next video was our first box of Iconic. So, this is Iconic Masters. Uh, Andrea, you picked a uh, stupid ad, pushed me down. Foil crypt Cryptic is fantastic. If I win, you can send me something random. Okay, I'm gonna send you something random. Might be from uh, that box, might not, might not. I don't know, we'll see. Josh C, oh man, this, uh, let's see. No, you had Oh, that's right. You were the winner of that uh, Mana Crypt. So, uh, man, this is a good week for you. And I think it, you said it was your birthday week and you won the Crypt. I can't remember. But fun box. My picks would be Urbrask. Okay, okay, okay. So you're going to go with the Urbrask. And the third winner for this one is Jason Dawson. Enjoyable opening. Good choice for background music. Thanks, man. Foil Aetherize. Okay, so we're going with the uh, Foil Aetherize. Congratulations to those winners. Okay, so now, look, what do we got here? What do we got here? 
Uh, this would be, uh, oh, this is the battle that I lost. So these are gonna be more random giveaways. Uh, I think this is the one where Nick took it to me. Uh, Michael, uh, Michael D. Ouch, can't win them all, but fun nonetheless. Yes, it was fun. I don't, you know, honestly, I don't really care about winning too much. Uh, I do want there to be a good battle. I don't want either, either one of us to get stomped. Uh, I th I'm pretty sure you won before. If not, it's a random giveaway anyways. So, sorry, Jason, but if you won, eh, got to get pay it forward to somebody else. I really like these kits. It would have been an amazing time being able to draft this at an actual event. I agree, agree, R L Red. We'll go one more winner here. One more. Why not? This is what we do. This is what we do. Siaran. Nice. I've been wanting to get one of these for a while. Well, good. Good, good. Good, good. I only have a few left. Um, I think I actually have five left. But uh, Okay, so this one is the second Iconic Masters box. And who's it going to be? Mr. Dan W. All right, man. For as long as you've been a subscriber, you've probably won less than a handful of times. So I do appreciate uh, you, your patronage, basically. I mean, I don't have a Patreon page, but you're still a patron and subscriber. So uh, yeah, now nah, not too bad. Thank you, brother. Oh yeah, my pleasure. You must have had some packs in there. I don't remember which one, Dan. I don't. I don't. I just. Uh, I think you cleaned up on this one. This was this one you cleaned up. <laughs> And Dr. Cause, let's see what he does. Uh, for all you that are curious, uh, Dr. Cause and I, we got something coming up real big, real big right now. So uh, stay tuned for this week, okay? Stay tuned for this week. Oh, can't win again. Can't win again. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Last winner, last winner on this video is Caden, Caden. Um, what happened here? Oh yeah, no, no, okay. This is. So did I put the wrong one in here? I don't know. These are our winners. This is what we're going with. Yeah, that last battle, huh? I don't remember. I'm gonna have to take a look. What? Uh, what we pulled on these, I don't have to go back through these, but these are our winners. We'll find out exactly what they're uh, what they're winning here shortly. Congratulations to everybody. Um, we are spreading out the love quite a bit. Uh, you know, it just seems like people are streaky on my channel, and uh, that's just how it goes. So let's get back to you, clever magic Trevor. All right, guys, congratulations to the winners. It's always fun sending out the cards. Uh, I do appreciate you that send send me the email saying, hey, thank you, I didn't expect you to send me this. And I was, you know, a lot of times it's like, wow, how'd you know I needed this? And I'm like, honestly, if it's a random giveaway, I got a lot of nice cards and I try to stack them so that you're not getting like a bulk rare or something like that. And if you do, you're, you're getting two or three, you know, uh, that's just, you know, but they're upside down. And I grab a stack and start loading the cards up and so for the random guys, I wish I could say that uh, it was me being kind to you. Um, but honestly, it's the luck of the draw. And uh, yeah, I mean, I am giving away the cards and I try to make them like at least a decent giveaway so that when you receive them in the mail, you're at least happy. Uh, but it is random. It's completely random. So I appreciate everybody uh, thinking I'm hooking them up, uh, which I guess I am. But uh but you're the lucky ones and i appreciate you guys and you guys just keep paying it forward to somebody else just uh take it as like uh you know this is my way of paying it forward to you guys and you guys can do what you do in for other people so a uh, few things on the channel coming up so we do have some more 2021 uh, i still have got to get my collector's box uh, i thought i was going to have them in right now uh I ordered it from a bunch of different people. I've tried to con a few people in to get in them to me earlier, but we'll see what happens this early next week. So hopefully we'll have some collector's boxes. We do have a few battles. We got our first uh, Clever and Booster uh, Endeavor batter, b battle batter. And uh, so that's going to be exciting. We'll see what's in those packs. They might be slightly different. They might be the same, you know? So who knows? Uh, also... 
uh, I think I decided what I'm going to do for my thousand subscriber uh, giveaway and I do have a 600 su subscriber giveaway for your, all you guys that want to share and boost me over I think as of this morning I'm at 592 it's been fluctuating up and down I mean I don't, I don't know what's up with either YouTube or uh, my content or whatever it, it, it goes up and down I'm really not too concerned but uh, I would like to grow I mean that's kind of the name of the game so uh, I do have a 600 sub, sub subscriber uh, giveaway and that's gonna include uh, multiple people so uh, I'm not even gonna give you any information on that so give me the 600 and you get to see what the surprise giveaway is on that one uh, as far as a thousand dollar or thousand uh, subscriber one we are gonna be doing it's double masters related it's double masters and I will tell you what the uh, the double masters uh, I'm gonna give away a box I am I am I'm gonna give away a box and I haven't decided if it's gonna be one or two or three subscribers I think I might do three subscribers divided up try to get value somewhat close divided into three people um, and we'll go from there so uh, do what you can get me to a thousand and uh, we'll get you guys some cards in your hands uh, as we go along on the road to 1000 there will be other giveaways not just in the daily video giveaways because I do the daily video giveaways and those are fun and everything uh, but you know at 750 there's gonna be something obviously I mentioned 600 and then I do have one later uh, I haven't decided quite yet but I think it's at 900 so and then 900 to a thousand we'll see what happens there I uh, you know, all this is uh, con contingent on how fast we, we grow there. My goal for the year when I first started this was uh, my first year I was hoping for, I was hoping for 1500 was my goal. Um, I set a minimum at a thousand and uh, I don't know if I'll get there. I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of great uh, YouTube content out there and uh, you know, you don't always make your goals, You but um, for all you that uh, do this, it is important to set goals, okay? Um, and it's okay not to achieve them. Uh, it's not okay not to try to achieve them. So uh, set goals, do the best you can, and uh, work on that way, you know? Um, in real estate, I I used to, when I first started, I set very low goals, and then I realized that if you set low goals, you get complacent when you reach them. So what's better to do is, and I know this sounds almost contradictory, but uh, set loftier goals, but uh, assume you're gonna achieve them. So you set loftier goals and then you fight and you fight to get there. And then when you don't make it, um, then you can look back and be like, well, you know what, if I set my goal only at you know this, then I would have surpassed it by far. You know, so I didn't set my, I didn't reach my goal. But you know, here's the thing about goal attainment is once you attain a goal, you have to set a new goal. Otherwise, what's the point, right? So um, it's that ever love and it's the thrill of the chase. And I go back to, to this because I feel like uh, life in general is about this, but it's life is about the thrill of the chase. And as soon as you achieve what you were chasing, um, the thrill is over. So you're gonna have to find something else to achieve. And that's the big thing about life, progression in life, uh, setting goals. This could be uh, financially, you know, obviously economically. This could just be like owning you know, your own house. This could be owning a black lotus eventually. This could be whatever, you know. You could, you could have goals for whatever you want, but as soon as you achieve them, you're gonna have to set new goals. And um, I think uh, too many people don't set goals and they don't take pride in what they do and it ends up setting them back. So I recently sold the house to uh, a couple. She was a manager at McDonald's and she's worked at McDonald's since she was 16. She started out as a burger flipper, moved up to cashier, and she. this is what she told me. She said, because she makes really, really good money now and they qualified for a good loan. She told me, she said, you know, 
I set out when I was 16 and and said that, you know what, my family has always come in from lower income. She's like, so I don't have expectations to have a lofty, uh, you know, corner office type of business. You know, I'm not going to be a financial advisor. She's like, but she said when I was 16, I learned that if I was the best at what I did, I got to move up. I got to get raises and, uh, you know, I got to get into new positions. And so she was a manager by the time she was 18 or 19, like probably like more like a floor supervisor. And slowly through the time, you know, she's, I think, I think she's just shy of 30 right now. She's almost worked there 15 years. She's moved up and now she's a manager that kind of flows to different uh, McDonald's. And so I don't care where you work, what you do, everybody starts at a baseline. They all start at the bottom. Okay, you, you acquire skills, and if you take pride in what you do, if you make the best burgers, if you uh, clean the best floor or whatever, you are gonna progress to the next level because people that progress are the ones that are the best at their jobs, and it makes sense. Because if, if you take pride in that job, when you go to the next job, you're gonna take pride in that job. So no matter what you do, guys, just take pride in it. You know, Be happy about what you're doing. Take pride. I always take, tell my kids with that, uh, you know when they're doing their homework you know it'll say draw a picture of this and they'll just do like stick figures as fast as they can to to uh to get it done and i'm like you know what i that's no that's not good enough i said that is that your best work is that what you're going to be happy turning in or are you going to be proud to show this off to everybody I, I tell them take your time you know enjoy it and um when you're done with it show it off and be proud that this is what you accomplished with your time and that you achieved this on your own by putting forth effort um, and time and developing skills and developing skills. So I know this is kind of a tangent to Magic the Gathering, um, but I, I truly feel like we've lost a lot of this in life because it seems to, it seems to be that people want to denigrate certain jobs you know for a long time we denigrated uh our, our construction workers our you know oh nobody wants manual labor jobs well i'll tell you what manual labor jobs run this country and uh most of the six the most successful people i know um actually started out in manual labor and were able to work themselves up they didn't have college degrees they didn't you know they just kind of learned as they went they acquired skills um, and trades and were able to apply that. Now they don't actually work those jobs. You know, they aren't the manual labor people themselves. They have people that do that. And those the people that do that, the ones that are really good are gonna end up moving up. So lesson in life, take pride in everything you do. Take pride in everything you do and uh, ask yourself, is this the best? Is this the best that I can do? Uh, you know, is this the cleanest floor that I could have? I mean, it seems like a pretty simple concept, but it's it's good for the soul. You know, it's good for the accomplishments are good for the soul. It makes you feel like a better person, a more accomplished person. And so good luck to everybody. And um, like I said, we're gonna have a bunch of giveaways and uh, you know, I'm I'm really looking forward to to you know the direction of my channel, my business, my career, just everything. I just uh, I th I think it, things are ever moving, and you you kind of have to go with the flow. And sometimes you're on the top of the roller coaster, and sometimes you're on the bottom. But uh, you roll with the punches. And uh, you get to where you want to be eventually. And just enjoy life, guys. Enjoy life. I appreciate each and every one of you. You're very important to me. Um, I really enjoy reading the comments. Sometimes uh, some videos you've noticed I just haven't had time to, to comment. And then if I put out another video by the time I haven't gone back to that one, I'll read everything because actually it pops, notifications pop up on my phone. And I read and I can't always respond. So... Um, Keep, keep commenting guys it's more than just winning cards i enjoy reading that stuff and i will try to to reply to everybody it just doesn't work out that way 
uh, especially when I'm pumping the weeks and I'm pumping out like six videos. It's just not going to happen. So uh, thank you each and every one of you. If you remember, uh, subscribe, like the video, comment the cards you want on those type of videos. Uh, pay it forward to somebody, whether you know them or you don't. Just pay it forward. Just be in a positive, be the light on somebody's candle. I just came up with that. That's fantastic. I'll write that down. Um, and, uh, you know, share the video if you want. But otherwise, we'll catch you on the next video.